Uh, Jesus is celebrating the Passover meal with his disciples, a meal they ate every year to remember God's deliverance from Egypt. For Passover, the Israelite homes were instructed to, to slaughter a spotless lamb and then put its blood above their doorposts. When God came in judgment on the homes of the Israelites and the Egyptians, he would put to death the firstborn son in any home that did not have blood over the doorpost. God provided the blood of a lamb, a substitute sacrifice, to save his people from the payment of sin. God's people would celebrate this meal every year, taking these lambs to be slaughtered. The Israelites would gather together in their homes or re and remember the original Passover night in Egypt. With that backdrop, with this meal, Jesus refers to the cup in the Last Supper as signifying my blood, which is shed for the forgiveness of sins. He is the Passover lamb who saves us with his blood. When God's wrath and judgment come, we can hide under the blood of a perfect sacrifice. Jesus, the lamb of God, and we are saved. There are echoes of this thought all through the scriptures. When John the Baptist sees Jesus coming to be baptized, what does he say? John says, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And that's what Jesus did. Along with the institution of the Passover feast in Exodus, there was another law given, a law that every firstborn had to be redeemed, had to be bought back. And that is what Jesus did. He bought us back. He redeemed us. So that in the book of Hebrews, it says, and this was not wasted on anyone who knew the Hebrew scriptures, that we, the believers, are the fellowship, the church of the firstborn. And so we are. We are redeemed. We are bought back by the blood of Jesus Christ, who is our Savior.